Hi Pisces, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your general love reading for December 2021. If you guys are new to this channel and you feel guided, just go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so this way you get all notifications. And a warm welcome back to my regular subscribers. Um, so I haven't done the love readings in quite some time, but this one specifically is going to be three different spreads. It's going to be uh, about a specific person on your mind, how you feel, and then about how they feel, and then the combined energy of you both, okay? Keep in mind, you can flip the energies if it fits better for you, but just remember that it is general. It's not going to fit for all of you. So just take what resonates, leave the rest, and do not force anything to fit, Pisces. All right? All right, here we go. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages and love we have for Pisces. How does their person feel about them? How does Pisces feel about them? Let's see. Pisces. And how do they feel about them? All right. And then the combined energy of these two. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. If you can do anything, what would it be? I keep hearing Pisces, set me free. Set me free. On your side, on how you are feeling, we have the golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. On your person's side, on your mind, we have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, still angry. Wow. I feel like definitely you're not in communication with this individual. You're dealing with somebody who's playing victim, who blames you a lot. They do. Um, they are self-absorbed. It was a one-sided relationship. And there's something about this. It feels like a trauma bond. It feels unsafe it feels painful and I keep hearing how dare how dare they block me <laughs> it's like I feel like you're dealing with somebody here Pisces who's pissed off that you did the blocking Man, why do I feel they made you a villain? Hopefully you're embracing the villain role because you can't change people's minds, you know? All right, let's see what the tarot cards have to say. How does Pisces feel about this person's spirit? We have the Eight of Coins, the Six of Cups, and we have the Queen of Swords. <laughs> On your person's side, we have the Three of Wands, the Nine of Swords, oh boy. And we have Temperance Reverse. The Combined Energy, we have the Moon Reverse, your own energy there. We have the Five of Coins, and we have the Ace of Swords Reversed. Let's start with the Combined Energy. There are definitely secrets out about this individual. But I also feel like there are lies out about you. This person is spreading a lot of shit. But you're well aware of it. Because there's no unknown here with the moon reversed. It's all out in the open. What's all out in the open? Putting someone out in the cold. I feel it was you. I feel you had to put your foot down. I feel like this person took from you in many different ways. This loss is not just a relationship loss of sense of like love. This is was a financial burden. This was, I don't know, I feel like for some of you might have even had children with this individual, but this person was not, was not putting their weight in at all. Ace of Swords, which is all about the truth and victory with the reverse. This this is not the outcome you wanted, 
but neither did they because they got kicked out in the cold and this is both your energy there was lies here there was there's not there was no honesty and i feel like you had to cut the knife had to cut the knife right now your current energy here with the eight of coins i feel like you are finally rebuilding or establishing your life working on your passions working on your creativity you could give two shits right now what this individual is doing other than that you know that they're self-absorbed and it's not you being self-absorbed you're being self-absorbed in that in a healthy way this person's being self-absorbed in a projective way the six of cups you could have had children with this individual but if not there is a lot of this was a long-term relationship there was a lot here there's a soul contract in place keep hearing children though okay the queen of swords wants nothing but the truth honesty is authentic knows her power but man can she kill with her words i'm saying she because it's just the queen we all have masculine and feminine energy but i feel the level is you've been really working on your craft taking care of yourself some of you are just trying to take care of the kids but you know that if someone comes towards you, they better tell the truth and be honest, or you will cut them with that knife. <laughs> On your person's side, especially with this not today card, they know they can't bullshit you anymore. They're from a distance. <laughs> they see that you've gained confidence. Um, with all this yellow energy but i feel like it brings them a lot of anxiety here i know it does here with the nine of swords okay um they're in their head about it they're in their head about the distance the blocking um it's making them very in, impatient imbalanced i'm hearing um there's there's something about this person that is hoping or waiting that time <laughs> are you kidding me try not to get involved in this reading but like Time is going to make a difference about what they did. It's like all of a sudden, like, you'll forget. Like, like seriously? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with people. Do they really think you're going to forget all the heart, heartache, heartbreak, the lies, the seat, the cheating, the lying? Some of them, I mean, stole a lot. And not just, I keep hearing, hide money. But with temperance reverse, this person can get very physical in their outburst they're not patient they're unruly <sighs> it's like <laughs> you can't even be bothered by it i just feel like your energy is like oh, yeah you gotta do your own thing you made me out the villain okay all right i'll be your mirror for you no freaking problem you've been through the ringer here pisces you want to be set free. If you could do anything, it would be that. <laughs> the answer dwells in your heart. Let's see what the outcome of this is, though. Let's see what the outcome is for here for Pisces. Ooh, this is tough energy. <laughs> Five of cups. Five of swords. All transformation, though. All transformation here. Why? Because we got the Empress card here with the seven of wands. You are no longer taking shit. You know exactly the losses, the heartbreak, what this individual is going to do. You see that person flying in the river there? They're going to play victim. They're going to try to play you. There's a lot of trauma bonding in here. It could have been years of this, okay? This person is actually willing to do whatever they have to do to use words to hurt you to win at all costs. Um, and they're feeling the loss. They're playing the victim. What they're being forced to see what they're being forced to see is this empress energy taurus libra energy the empress is all about receiving rebirth it's a new beginning they see that you've taken actions now with the seven of wands of having the upper hand they do not like that but the upper hand is not i feel like whatever words because if you're dealing with a very narcissistic person it's the the most words you can use is none so i feel like you're this person is force like to watch you almost like in the sidelines to see you move on and have healthy set boundaries and be willing to take actions to hold those boundaries to be set free 
The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to your soul. You know this. You absolutely know this. Your individual, they don't. They got a lot of healing to do. And they're still playing victim. All right, let's see what healing advice we have for Pisces. What healing advice do we have for Pisces? I love you. These are powerful words. I think that you really showed yourself and looked in the mirror and said, no, I love my, I love me. I love you, meaning you love yourself. But I also feel that these words are powerful in a sense of if someone's doing this and playing victim and you're in your power, especially if you're the empress or the emperor, when you say I love you, you're saying I'm choosing not to hate you because I don't want to waste my time and energy on that. And that is the emperor and the empress. They say, yeah, it's a shame that you're going through all that. I, I know that you made me out to be the villain, but I still love you. Doesn't mean I got to be next to you, though. All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you are on Facebook, I'd love to see you in my group called Harmonia Friends. It's a private group, uh, but it's a free group, guys. And there's other readers on there that contribute. And it's Amazing Soul Tribe if you're looking for that support. All right, take care.